Today's question is, why do we need a savior? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources. So stick around to the end. Humanity needs a savior. To give an exhaustive answer to why we need a savior would require encyclopedic volumes of information. In our limited time, I will present some ideas based on what the Bible says about why we need a savior. First, let us understand the term we in this question to be technically inclusive. That is, when we say we need a savior, we mean that every person who has ever lived needs a savior. Also, we should note that the term savior enjoys a somewhat broad use in the Bible. Anyone who performs an act of rescue or deliverance may be designated as a savior. Examples include the Judges, Othniel, and Ehud, Judges chapter 3, verse 9, and verse 15. God himself, and not just Jesus specifically, is also called Savior, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 11. In this video, to avoid confusion, I will use the word Savior to designate Jesus Christ. The reason we need a savior has its roots in the nature of God and the nature of man. First, the Bible says God has a plan and human beings are critical to that plan. Second, God is holy and he cannot abide in sin. Third, every human being has sinned and every human has an intrinsic sin nature. The difficulty for us is that living with God requires sinless perfection and none of us is perfect. So God cannot accomplish his goals without first fixing humankind. That is why we need a savior and scripture identifies him as Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 2 verse 11 and Titus chapter 2 verses 13 and 14. We need the savior Jesus because we need to be made holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14. Jesus does not simply make us better people nor does he boost our godliness or augment our holiness. We have none to begin with. Rather, he makes us completely new creatures. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. The plan of God for humankind. We need a savior because God plans for us to bring him glory and enjoy his fellowship forever. He desires to conform us to the image of his son. The self-existent one did not create the cosmos to entertain himself. He did so to cultivate relationships with beings made in his image. See Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. God as a social and moral agent desires to have his creation love him and thrive. The fact that we as volitional beings fell into sin and rebellion means that we need a savior or God's plan for us cannot be realized. In his love, God sent the Savior, his only begotten Son, so he could fit us for eternity and showcase his glory. The holiness of God. With over 900 biblical references to the holiness of God, its importance to his creation cannot be overstated. The Bible teaches that we should pursue holiness. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15. Jesus taught that we should approach God with the understanding that he is holy. We need a savior because God is too pure to abide sinfulness. Your eyes are too pure to look on evil. You cannot tolerate wrongdoing. Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 13. Without a savior, God's word to us would only be away from me, you evil doers. Matthew chapter 7 verse 23. The sinfulness of humankind. In Romans chapter 3, verses 10 through 18, Paul brings passages from Psalms and Isaiah into a discussion of the law. In doing so, he uses scripture to conclude with confidence that every person has sinned. Every person, therefore, requires remediation. We cannot cast off our sin any more than a leopard can change its spots. There is no one righteous, not even one. Romans chapter 3, verse 10. God says in no uncertain terms that everyone is a sinner, even the ones who don't think they are. See 1 John chapter 1, verse 8. What this means is that everyone needs a savior, even the ones who don't think they do. 
the necessity of a savior. To summarize, God has a plan. It is perfect and he won't change his mind about executing it. His plan involves us humans, though we are sinners through and through. Since God is holy, he cannot tolerate the presence of sin. And unless he somehow cleanses us, it is impossible for him to work his eternal plan with us. Those who are not cleansed, those who are not saved, must be separated from God for all eternity. God's solution? Offer the perfect sacrifice once and for all to cleanse us of sin and reconcile us to himself. This he did with his son on the cross. We need a savior because we cannot save ourselves. We need a savior because without Christ, we are described as having no hope and without God in the world. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12. We need a savior and God has provided one. Jesus saved us as a demonstration of God's love and as a function of his mercy. Now, having been justified by his grace, we become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. Titus chapter 3, verse 7. Jesus' sacrifice unlocked everything for us. And if there were any other way for God to work his plan without compromise, he would have chosen that over the humiliation of the cross. The fact that Jesus did indeed die on the cross is proof enough that we need a savior. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, you got questions, the Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.